talk, 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 talk. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the talk. We have a great show for you tonight, but first I'd like to show you something in my weird art file. I've been to a cat cafe in Japan obviously a little while ago and um, I started to think that maybe London would enjoy one as well. So I, I wrote up the business plan, prepared a video for crowdfunding and um, yeah, it all sort of happened in February last year. There was a lot to sort of get through in order to make it happen because obviously I'm, I'm Australian so I had to go and change my visa, so I had to fly back um, and reapply for an entrepreneur visa. Um, we've also gone through quite a lot of challenges finding a suitable property and a landlord who would permit us to operate a cat cafe. Uh, then there was planning and all sorts of things, so it's, it's been very, very busy, um, but it's, it's all coming together and it's, it's something that we're all really proud of. So this is the coolest thing I've ever heard of, ever, this new cat cafe, it's called Lady Dinah's Cat Cafe, it's in Dawson, and it's probably the coolest thing that's ever happened to London. It's going to be so great. Don't, not, don't shake your head, <laughs> I'm so You're excited. Like, more excited than anybody. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. going to be just there. chill in a cafe <laughs> with cats. It's every person's dream. It's awesome. So... I've definitely been down there. I think everybody should go take a look. If Time Out loves it, it's gotta be good. So. The talk! What are you doing? Are you Is she done? Is she done? Is she done? Communicate that with the look. Party, party. Party hard. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on my guest, Eve Blake. Hello, Eve. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks. You look adorable. That's very kind of you. Uh, you look great. How are you? I'm I'm terrific. I'm well. I Thank just come you. from rehearsals. So, um, Ooh, okay. yeah. Tell me, rehearsals doing what? Rehearsals are uh, making my, my solo show, Ooh. which is called Ben. Um, and it opens on the 25th of February. Ooh. Like, there's a blinding light. They don't, I can't even see where the camera is. So I'm just gonna, this one right over there. Do you know what? I'm just going to direct it in every <laughs> To the Come people. People. To the people. See my show. Open <laughs> the 25th of February. Yeah. Excellent. I think someone got it. Well, that sounds great. Okay. What's, what's the show about? Um, uh, fundamentally, the show is about who we used to be. So, um, really specific. Mm -hmm. Just really specific. Mm -hmm. uh, I created this show uh, in collaboration with the internet. I made an interactive website. Yes, I've seen this website. Yeah. It was very interesting. I clicked on it and I was kind of like, is this, is, this, is this the website? Like, I, just, I couldn't even figure it out at first. Good. Sort of clicking on everything and basically you let people just uh, submit stories. Submit stories, yeah. I'm glad you had a bewildering experience. Bewildering. That's, uh, that, that was totally my intention. No, um, <laughs> no I, I made this interactive website and yeah. it's called whowerewe.com. It's still up. Uh, and yeah, and it encouraged people to submit their stories about who they feel they used to be. Mm. I'm basically interested in how, um, in the new Spike Jones movie, there's this quote and someone says, the past is just a story we tell ourselves. And I'm very interested in authorship of self. Mm -hmm. um, just to sound like nice and pretentious. <laughs> that sounds um, good though. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'll sell good. tickets. That's good. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so I ask people to submit stories about who they feel they used to be and pictures yes, and playlists. Yes. And like anecdotes, and, and I got everything back. I got everything back yeah, from. This is what I wanted to hear about now. What yeah. kind of responses are you getting? Like well, it, was a, it was a massively mixed bag. Okay. Because I mean, a lot of people were happy to tell me about the thugs that they were when they were five years old. Ooh. So um, there's a really great submission which, in which someone describes their lunch every day for school, and it was either a sandwich with um, crisps and marmite, <laughs> or tin spaghetti. <laughs> Or, <laughs> oh my goodness, and the last one is failing me too. Well, you have to go on the website then, see. Wow. Um, that's the thing too, is that I made this website, and then there's a blog called whowerewemuseum.com, where mm. there's a kind of uh, a melange of all the different yeah. of all the different submissions. Oh, that's all great. The best yeah, that it's fun. great. So yeah. Some people have just been going crazy with that. Yeah. And um, a personal favourite is um, when I was seven, I used to smell my hands a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so how do you turn these into... Things for your show. It's a terrific point because so far this show is sounding pretty whack. Well, um, it's, it just sounds so like wow, like out there. I don't know how you're gonna put this together. How do you how do you construct the stories then? Well, um, I'm taking all the submissions I've got, both humorous and um, heartbreaking, and I'm taking the text of them and turning them into songs. 
and turning them into music. Sounds great. Sounds awesome. Here's hoping. Here, what, what kind of like songs? Like, are we talking musicals? Or yeah, like yeah, musical songs. So sometimes, um, sometimes I'll take exactly what someone said and set that to music. Okay. And then other times I'll take the idea of what someone said and then I'll just make it rhyme. I love this idea. This sounds so crazy. I can't wait to see this. When did this yeah. come out? 25th? 25th of February. 25th of February, you guys. Yeah. Like, I have an then. It's called then. Then, we yeah. We come up with that name. That's a good title. It's a very good question. I spent a long time trying to figure out mm. what this is going to be called. Um, at one point, I thought I was going to call it, I don't know who I am now, but I can tell you who I used to be. But I think there's about 17 words in that. So I quickly decided, <laughs> nice let's catchy. go for as few words as possible. And so I just picked one. Then. Yeah. Then is a nice one. I like it. Well, thank you. Titles are hard, and you kind of nailed that one. Well, that's very, that's very, I like to say it rhymes with pen. <laughs> so, um, it does indeed, yeah. Yeah, that's very what it has good. going for it. Well, thank you very much, Eve. This sounds really Thank exciting, you. you guys. Check this out. Um, what's the website? Okay, so if you still want to submit a story, go to whowerewe.com. Uh, if you want to see some of the amazing submissions people have put forward, then go to whowerewemuseum.com. And if you want to buy tickets for the show, it's on at the Vault Festival. Opens on the 25th of February, and their website, I think, is thevaultfestival.com. Thevaultfestival.com. Yeah. Great. Slash then. Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds good. Good luck with all of that. Well, thank and you. And thank you very much for being on the show. Ah, well, thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> the talk. You know what, Krishna? What? I think I should try doing stand up again. Uh huh. So like, who hears from Croydon? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not from Croydon. Like, America, yeah, love America. You know, it's like, great. Mm. Oh, say, can you see? Ah, the dawns are only light. Oh, England, man, like, it's crazy. Like, they really are obsessed with cheat. They're all like, all right, hey, you, you want some cheat? <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. Uh, give me some tea. Yeah, yeah. It's so, it's so, so stupid. Like, see, like how many people are out there, but <laughs> I don't, don't think it's that many, right? So I heard like this crazy story about this guy, he had, like a PhD in heckling. What the hell is that, right? Like, get me? It's like crazy. It's distracting. Could you please not? Can you please not heckle me here? <laughs> like really hot. Like, you're really sweaty. I'm really sweaty right now. Yeah, it's crazy. You should be going. <laughs> you guys sweaty? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. Well, you're laughing at me? You should be laughing with me, asshole. It's really lame. Like, I don't get this. Like, what's with this eyeball? I don't understand. Like, have you guys seen this movie? So, like, airplane food, right? Like, <laughs> what's up with that? Valentine's Day is, like, the greatest day ever. It's so great. Like, it's just so much sex involved. Like, just... <laughs> right? I think I should try doing stand-up again. Maybe not. The talk. Hey. That's not the song. Okay. I freaking love it. Like we look so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you gonna be staying in? And action. Hey, Krishna. And I'm action. I can't. Do the talk. Hi guys, I'm going to read up. So, uh, first we're going to talk about what we have here. So we have all the liquors. 100% agave tequila. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's Yeah. So, uh, we also already use uh, triple sec. This, this is an uh, orange liquor. It's cheaper, so I'd say if you're going to make cocktails for your friends and your students, and you need to save money, just as long as it's a triple sec on it, it's okay. So, um, this is optional, but it just gives like a nice sweet flavour and a really nice look to the drink because we're going to layer it on the bottom of the drink, so it's going to be orange and red at the bottom. And last but not least, wine juice. Yeah. Enough for we, we had to choose between Rubicon, which I'm not a fan of, but she said it's good. So, if you do that at home, just take the drink. And then we have some wine and chilies, obviously, because we're going to need some chilies. Yeah, yeah.
I have a bottom shaker. You can also use the ones that have like just metal ones. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> and then, so um, we're going to start by using our measures. But if you're at home and you just want to get smashed, don't worry about measures. It's all good. Things up a little bit today. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So we got our tequila. So it's a big bear. Yeah, yeah, we have drinks. Triple sec. Okay. So we're just gonna pour approximately 15 ml. Mm. Sec. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna. Yeah, you don't. You don't need to follow the measures. Because <laughs> obviously that'll get you on. You know. Yeah. One line. We don't have a line squeezer, so I'm just gonna squeeze it by hand. But I don't know about cocktails. I never make cocktails. Sophia, my sister, makes cocktails. She always makes. It. She did a course. She knows how to do this stuff. Oh, that's she good. Yeah, she used to come out of class and just be like, yeah. You want like a white brush in today? I'm like, no, no, I don't. Um, we're just gonna put literally a little bit of a chili. Like, I'm not even gonna muddle it or anything because it's really, really spicy. Not even gonna chop it. Uh, no, just literally pour it in because yeah. it's really, really spicy. And muddle it, like, just go like down. But I'm not gonna do that because yeah. I like my spice. But same, you know, so let's keep it. <laughs> let's keep it. Uh, so that will do. Just uh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna use a really good one because it's the one I like. Like, can you use whatever juice you like? You can even switch it up and use it if you don't like mango. Hush up, can you see one? Can you see this or should we, should we? Yeah, shake, shake up the Rubicon. Shake it, shake, shake it, it yeah. Always put the ice at the end because uh, the ice takes about seven seconds to melt after you put the liquor in. So that's not good. Lock it. You can say it. I love the sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you give it a big slap on the side. On the side it's like more towards this, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You slap it like that. And then take a little bit of lime. And do some salt and oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I do it with salt and sugar because I like it. You basically just, you know, go around. Go around. Do you do salt first or the sugar? Like no drinking in the yeah, so you can win the jam jars. Yeah, the jam jars. They look great. They look so cool. And holding it with one finger, we're gonna just fill it up to the top. Uh, because we have these amazing straws. Yeah, we're gonna crazy. Who needs? I wanna try one. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Fill the glass to the side and literally pour. Just pour. <laughs> and it's gonna layer. Because it's the the. It, okay, thank you very much. much. Oh. Ta da! Hey, that so, was amazing. Um, Yeah, so, yeah. Good for it. Mm, look how pretty this looks, you guys. Cheers, my friend. Mm, cheers. 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 Something tasty. Yeah. I can tell you the ingredients that you like. Once it's nice together, I'm going to be very happy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, chance me. That's it. We're getting on my work. Go check it out, guys. Go check it out. Thank you. See you around. See ya. Mm -hmm.